Hi, this is probably one of the hardest videos I've ever done. It's a story about my own shameful past, if you want to call it that. Something that is hard for me, but it has to be said. When I started sharing my art online, I was scared. I thought in order for me to share and show my drawings, they had to be perfect. So I waited and never wanted to show my stuff to anyone. Now, during all that time, I had bad anxiety, and I thought none of the things I did were good enough for people to see them. I would sit down and film many videos, only to delete them right after. It took me so much courage to put my own face on YouTube. Courage I didn't have. Eventually, I realized that most of these horrible mood swings were coming from the medication I was taking. Hormones that were messing with my brain. Once I stopped taking it, it was like I was a different person. I had to figure out who I was, but also finally had the courage to upload my first video with my face on it on YouTube. I loved it, so I uploaded more art videos, and I even put my face in them. Even though I knew my art wasn't good, I wasn't afraid anymore. But my art was stolen. At least I would call it that. The first time someone pointed it out to me was on my old Facebook page. Hey, your art reminds me of Irina Tanamura's. I was surprised she was my favorite artist, but my scribbles were nowhere near what she was doing. That comment gave me to think, though. My art was not original. Looking at the things I drew, it never was. At some point, I was even tracing the characters to study everything so it would look like theirs. I didn't understand that. I didn't have to make my art identical to theirs, just so it could look good. Every time my art would get a bit better, I would just reset my entire progress by trying to imitate others again. Here's an important info. Everyone has a different muscles, movements, preferences, and supplies. It's impossible for you to make your art look identical to others, and it's a huge waste of time. Time I wasted. I was constantly looking up references from other artists to know how I had to do certain things. When I realized what the hell I was actually doing for all these years, I had to stop. So I stopped. I restrained myself from looking at any other art at all for months. See, people always say, in order to get better at drawing people, even manga people, you have to look at real humans. I didn't understand that. I was just looking at other art, again, to know what to do. A few days ago, I realized what that meant. Look at people, draw the features, simple as you would, then transfer them into manga. Such an easy thing. I know my art isn't perfect, but I'm working on it. I know it's alright to get inspired from other people's art. Just like our personalities, our art is made out of our favorite parts from other things. So yes, it's okay to look at others' art and draw a similar looking nose. It's not okay to trace and draw just like that. I know I'm making this all sound much more dramatic than it actually seems to be, but I still get comments on my old videos saying that my art looks like arenas. And it hurts. Because it reminds me of it. It reminds me of the time I wasted. As much as it may sound like a compliment, it's like a slap in my face. And the worst part of it all, I'm the only one to blame. I'm also the only one who can fix it. So, before you guys get all depressed, I want to change some things. I realized that my channel was never about how much or how good I was drawing. Really, it was just showing my improvement. I think that's a good thing. You can go watch hours on hours of videos on YouTube of people drawing really fast. But when do we get to see the struggles? The actual ugliness behind all this, the frustration, and the passion. I want to share these things with you, take you with me, and show you all the things I have and still will learn. Drawing manga isn't about making a circle and slapping a cross in it. There's so much to know. You should know it. I've accumulated so much knowledge over the years. I want to give it to you. The problem? I don't know where or how to start. I learned all these things without any order. There's a lot to talk about. And even though a speed paint would be much easier to make, I want to make what I always wanted. Show people how to draw manga. 
So what does this mean? Does it mean I will never upload a speed paint again? No, because you can capture and learn so much from watching others. But besides that, I want to incorporate different kinds of videos. Videos where I show you the things behind the finished picture, the things I struggle with, the hacks I figure out, and the things I learn. So you can learn with me. When I started making videos, I did it with one single reason behind it. I didn't want to be alone. That sounds weird and oddly sad, but it's true. I always had to draw alone. No one shared my passion. Even outside of drawing, I had problems getting along with people. I just had a different mentality. But at the end of the day, I could just go on YouTube and find people who like the same stuff. That inspired me and I worked hard on learning English so I could understand them more and talk with them. At some point, I felt like I had watched all the videos I cared about, so I started making my own. And now, here we are. 80 videos, 4 years, and 10,000 people later. And this was only just the beginning. Countless nights in that studio I ain't gonna stop till I get it all Remember when no one believed in the vision Now they the first one to give you a call Taking all of this time now Now I know that my time's now No second chances ain't turning back Ain't a second way still believing that I've been right here if you like it or not Ain't faking the thing, no this ain't no facade I got it, you with it or you are the enemy Writing these words cause man this is my therapy I've been working towards it yeah. This gon' be a story Champion we gon' pour it Yeah this feeling so euphoric I got no more time to waste What I'm trying to say I'm trying to have the time of my life Life's so short it seems Yeah, there's more to see It's time to have the time of my life Don't you know who we are? These words, they gon' live on Through the day and night Last time I get it on Never felt hot like this. like this Never knew we could fly like this, like this. Never thought life so righteous Got me scared to think of what I might risk Like anything is ours, ours. <laughs> This man up on the moon, baby We can shoot right into the stars, stars. Hey, All of this is new, don't get it confused All of it's deserved yeah. And now we got a spot reserved yeah. For us up at the top and we'll never stop Until we're in the dirt yeah. I think we started striking nerves yes. They used to say we were absurd yeah. Now they're all crawling back Trying to make it up with all that shit Get incurred, we kick that shit to the curb We just focus on the drive we Took this shit out from the birds Now we do it nationwide I know you always live and learn Every second I'm alive I'm making sure that passion burns Till the second that I die Because I would without the music All this shit is therapeutic It can fix all of the ruins Showing you that you're a human Homie, everything will hurt you Wish is fine and stuff that's worth you Going through all of the pain to get the game to reimburse you up. Got no more time to waste what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to have the time of my life. Life's so short, it seems. Yeah, there's more to see. It's time to have the time of my life. Don't you know? We run off to the races Not sure just what we're chasing We don't know our direction Shit, we just know we'll make it Our new lifestyle crazy Every day is Vegas I'm laughing if you hate me We'll never rack outrageous Life's too short to never feel this tall It's moving way too fast For us to ever fall See, baby, you my drug I think I got withdrawals You always keep it real You do that shit so wrong it make me feel alive I'm glad I got you by my side Now we've been looking up at someday Like we finally arrived There's never gonna be a time Better than now to go and try To bring your wildest dreams alive God damn it, you were so deprived This time to take what's yours You got a fate in store That's gonna leave you breathless I'm just making sure That you're not scared to chase it Cause life is what you make it So when you paint your pages Just make sure that you can frame it safe Save it, bitch, it's Oaks. Hey, don't let me be
just uh, want to get you on the phone real quick, let you know that I'm going to find you out to Vegas. Got a couple tickets, got a penthouse, so I mean, just give me a call back, you know the number, 915 4852. You already know the area code. And no, I haven't taken that at all yet. Nights in that studio I ain't gonna stop till I get it all Remember when no one believed in the vision Now they the first one to give you a call Taking all of this time out Now I know that my time's now No second chances ain't turning back Ain't a second wasted believing that